My name is Chris Mayo. I'm the service supervisor here at Clark. Easy maintenance is not just important, it's essential. No matter the quality of the machine where you get it, it's going to need maintenance, repairs, or corrections at some point or adjustments. If I got a truck that's easy to maintain, technician comes in and he's able to change the fluids, access what he needs to relatively quickly, troubleshoot it, that minimizes downtime. When it comes down to it, myself and my team, we, we kind of look at ourselves as problem solvers because we're service-minded people, we focus on service, but at the end of the day, we got to fix both the customer and the truck. Clark as a whole, when we're designing something, it becomes a dialogue between our product support, which is service, and the design team. So through the entire process, for if they'll finish a leg of it, they'll have us come over or bring the truck to us and we'll nitpick it. So you need to change this, go back, change it, change it. We need more room, more operator presence, so on and so forth. And then when that truck you know, is completed, they'll bring it to us and we'll nitpick it again. We'll drive it, we'll operate it, and we'll, we'll go through a list of usually it's sometimes as much as 100 or 200 different things and we'll nitpick it. A truck that's been designed here recently with that dialogue in mind they're easy. We can about pinpoint it in a quarter of the time what's wrong with it. Clark designs that in mind that as a technician, if I'm uh, loaded up in my truck or van with standard tools, I should be able to fix this truck. Typically in the industry, you're looking at a lot of uh, OEMs utilize drum brakes. Well, with that, there's a lot of maintenance. Our system uses clutch that is in oil, and that oil is cooled through our system constantly, so you're not developing heat. On this system, you remove the wheel ends, and everything's there for you, the, the gears, the clutch packs, and you can access, clean them, clean the system, put it back together on both sides of the truck. And then same thing for bleeding. It's easily accessible at each wheel end as well as the, the brake cylinder itself. So you're not tearing them down to replace clutches, to adjust clutches. It works effectively, efficiently, and doesn't require very little maintenance. So, If you're having to go and adjust shims or rollers on a mass on most other OEMs, you're having to tear that mast apart. You're having to tear it apart in either three different stages or even remove the mast entirely to access certain things. Negative drop rails for Clark uh, allows for us, when the rails drop out, you're able to access the rollers. And in doing so, you're able to replace them. It allows easy maintenance, easy shimming and adjustment. If I'm on location, I want to do mass rails as possible with the Clark product. I can do it, it might take me three or four hours tops. Whereas there are some OEMs that if I have to tear into it, I might be out for two or three days and that truck might have to go to the shop. You look at downtime, you look at increase in costs as far as the labor hours involved. When you have a truck that is easy access, you can access all your components, your controllers, your motors, your harnesses, and everything's out there. You're gonna fix that truck quicker. Not only are you gonna fix that truck quicker, but your attitude about that truck is gonna far exceed if that job taking you five times as long. Now, from a dealer perspective, it's when I send you out and I've got three or four issues in one location or all over the place, and these trucks are easy to access, it's easy to troubleshoot, like mechanically speaking, hands-on, you're gonna to wanna to work on those trucks because you're gonna fix them quick and it's gonna make you look good. If I'm an owner, I wanna ensure that those trucks are well taken care of. We're hitting every PM, we're maintaining them. If that's easy and accessible and it's not a frustrating affair, they're gonna get it done and it ensures that they're actually going to do the maintenance. So what you're doing is minimizing the cost of ownership, the cost per hour, the downtime of that unit. We always say from my side of the table is sales sell the first truck, service sells the rest. It is a well-built, and I mean well-built truck. I'd say over-engineered in many regards, and that, that's a compliment.